Good morning. I'm Bill Poet. I am the host of Positively Speaking. I'm the creator of the Warrior Heart Project, and I am so excited about having you here with me this morning. Welcome back to our training. Um, we're getting great feedback about these videos and the lessons that we're all learning in nature. Uh, I gave a workshop up in Paso Robles a few days ago and I was training the general manager of a very large hotel and the question I asked him was what process do you use to manage your business and he, he looked at me kind of scratched his head had no answer I did a seminar later that evening I asked the same question what process are you using to manage your life and what I'm recognizing is that 95 out of 100 people have no process, they have no strategy. They're literally flying by the seat of their pants. They're managing their lives by the seat of their pants. And that kind of means that their ass is driving the ship. And I think that's probably a bad strategy. And when I look around me at the world and I see what's happening, and I see the amount of suffering, I realize that we've lost connection with what's true. And nature and God want us to win. They want us to be successful. And they've left the clues to how life works everywhere. The, the elemental basis of life that flows within us and that flows in nature and that sustains life and creation is everywhere. We've lost track. More than anything on earth, I want to help you find your way home. And when I say find your way home, I mean find that place of power and love and joy that is your birthright. And home isn't somewhere that's hidden out in the world away from us. Home is right here and home is connecting and home is remembering what our truth is. And this is essential. This is the key to the Warrior Heart Project. The number one regret of people dying is I didn't have the courage to live my truth and I lived someone else's idea of a life. I refuse to let that happen to any of us and there's two challenges we face. Number one, how do I discover my truth and how do I develop the strength and courage to go find it? The formula that I've spent 30 years searching for and that has been right in front of my face the whole time is the key. The simplicity and the beauty and the truth of this model are going to resonate with you and when you learn it and embody it and embrace it, it's going to change your life. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to start right here with true north, my true north, the things that matter most to me. I'm going to draw a compass. And in each one of these compass points, I'm going to declare an element. I'm going to put wind up on top. I'm going to put earth down here on the bottom. I'm going to put fire on this side, and I'm going to put water on this side. Each element is going to have an energy attached to it. Wind is light. Earth is heavy. Water is cold, fire is hot. I'm going to attribute a part of myself to each one of these elements. So up under light wind, I have my spirit. And down here on earth, I have my body. Over here, cold left brain. This is thinking or thought. And over here under fire is feeling, connection. So take a look at this. I've got light, heavy. I've got cold, hot. I have my spirit, which is infinitely light. I have my body, which is grounded in the earth. I have my ability to think and process, and I have my ability to feel and connect. Now, I'm gonna draw a circle around this, and this circle represents the entire universe expanding infinitely out in every direction and if you think about it for just a moment and we've talked about this you are the very center of this universe from your first breath until your last 
everything surrounds you, everything embraces you, everything is here for you to learn from and to enjoy and to be a steward of. The other key component is my fingerprint, is recognizing that in the entire history of man, past, present, and future, there has never been another me. I am so loved by the universe that I'm giving a completely distinct, unique universe, and I'm given my own fingerprint, my soul print, and so my job, my life's purpose, is to find my true north. I want to find my truth. We call this your soul purpose. SP, your soul purpose. What turns you on? What is your life story? Because it's completely unique. I don't want to get to know you as some copy or idea of another person. I want to get to know who you are. And I want to find and help you breathe life into that beautiful, powerful, unique person. So now, here's our adventure. Here's the process. There are only six steps. And if you can understand and embrace these, it'll change everything you can imagine. Step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five, and step number six. And let's walk through this. In this first element, we call this the void. And the void is the realm of all creation. It's our imagination. It, Einstein said it's the most powerful place in the universe because the imagination is limitless. And in step one, every mor morning for about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes before you get out of bed, you lay, you connect, and you imagine. Step one is imagine. You imagine what could be better in your life, what could be more beautiful with your body, with your relationships, with your career, with your family and friends, I promise you, you'll get answers. And you're gonna get answers that are totally unique to you. You're not gonna get your parents' answers or your spouse's answers. So you imagine, first thing in the morning, in this void, in this sacred space, what feels right to you in your life. In step two, we drop down energetically and we declare it, declare. We declare our intention for the day. We set this energy in stone. Think of the Ten Commandments. These were not God's wishes for us. These were directions, these were commandments. When you set your goal, when you set your intention for the day, it's not an I wish, it's an I will. From here, we flow into step three, the water element, the thinking element. This is our training. This is where you develop your ATR. Your ATR is your ability to respond. This is your laboratory, this is your classroom, this is where you get all the, the training done before you go out into battle, before you go out into life. I wanna make sure that you are intellectually, emotionally, and physically prepared. This is key, this is our classroom, this is our training ground. From here, we flow over into step number four. This is the feeling element, this is our connection. This is where we engage. The word here is engage. And whatever you're gonna do with your life, are you fully committed? Are you all in? I use the metaphor of jumping out of an airplane. You can't halfway commit to that. You are fully committed. You are completely engaged. So look at what we've done. We've begun with the void element. We've imagined a better life. We've dropped down into the earth element. We've declared it and defined it. We've come into our training ground, our left brain. This is where we're developing the skill sets, the ability to respond, becoming the person I need to make the magic happen. I now check in with my heart. Am I all in? Am I totally engaged? Am I ready to jump? Because if you're not all in, you're never gonna achieve anything great. Then I flow up into step five. Step five is where I do it. Step five is the wind element. This is freedom of movement. You don't think about it, you do it. This is where the living and the loving and the playing of life take place. And then from here, at the end of the day, I drop down to step six and I review. I look at what I've accomplished. I look at what I've created throughout the day and I ask myself, what could be better? What did I enjoy? What worked and what didn't work? And the beauty of this process is I'm setting my subconscious mind in order 
so that it'll be ready when I wake up tomorrow to begin this cycle all over again. And the key out here in nature and in your body, these elements are always in motion. They're always in flow. This model is always in motion. This model is always in flow. Life is movement. Creation is movement. And when we get stuck, we stagnate and we die. And lots of people are getting trapped in these different elements and they've lost their flow. So in future training videos, I'm gonna show you how to break out and to make sure you're completing this cycle. So let's walk through it one more time. Step one, I imagine. Five to 10 minutes in bed every morning, connecting with your truth, your beauty, your joy. Then I plant my feet on the ground. The day has started. I declare and I define exactly what my beautiful day is gonna look like. Step three, I move up into my training zone, left brain, science. I'm building the skill sets. I'm building the physical, mental, and emotional tools I need to manifest a beautiful life. I shoot over and I do a heart check and I make sure I'm fully engaged. Why am I willing to spend my precious life with these people in this activity and I need to be fully engaged? I jump out of the airplane. I come up to step five. This is your Nike ad. You just do it. Massive, enjoyable, intelligent action. You live your day. You touch, you love, you create something beautiful. And then I pull it back down in the last few minutes before I go to bed, I review the day. What worked? What didn't? What did I love? What can I make better? Planting the seeds of a beautiful new day. This is the process for how you manage your life, how you manage your business, how you manage everything. And it's not given to you by me. This has been given to us by nature. And when you connect with it and pay attention, you're going to feel it and you're going to see it everywhere. And it's one of the most simple and beautiful models on earth. I hope you'll enjoy it. Watch this video over and over again. Think about the six steps. Think about the elements and how they work in this beautiful dance. Keep moving, keep loving, and stop fearing. Life is too short, life is too important. So I'm Bill Poet. This is your path to your true north, to finding your soul purpose and it's the most beautiful path imaginable. And um, as always, thank you for sharing this adventure with me. I love training you. I love bringing you back home. And this is home. So thanks, have a great day. I'll see you on our next video. I'm Bill Poet. I'm the creator of the Warrior Heart Project, the host of Positively Speaking, and have a brilliant day.